Oh, hello, my name is Ruslan, I'm a student of Business Information Technology here in Berlin, Germany and I would like to share with you the five components of information systems which you should definitely know. I'm a student, you're probably also a student or you probably want to become a student. We all don't have time so I'm gonna make it as quick as possible and at the end I'm also giving you a great example how you will definitely never forget what the five components of information systems are. So the first component of information systems is hardware, second is software, the third one is database and data warehouse, the fourth one is telecommunication and the last one and also the one of the most important is of course human resources and procedures. So if you like this video and the best way you can support this video is simply by giving an amazing like. I highly recommend you to subscribe right now. So if you are a programmer like I am you're probably also a shy person and you also need somehow of technology which gives you the chance to get let's say in contact with other people let's say with other human beings and this is the reason why I would like to give you a good example how you will never forget what information systems are by giving you a great example on how you can actually use tinder Yes, you heard it right. Actually, how you can use Tinder, you would definitely never forget what information systems are. So, at that moment where you try to use the Tinder app, you have, of course, to activate your mobile phone. So, at that moment where you push the power button, you need some kind of technology behind this very beautiful phone. Nice which gives you the chance that this mobile phone is actually working and that is the reason why we need hardware. And the second step you will definitely do is of course to activate this Tinder app. And at that moment where you activate the Tinder app, you need some kind of software which gives you the chance to get into an interaction with the Tinder app. So at that moment where you the first time install Tinder, you will definitely get like a lot of matches with really beautiful model like people but surprisingly they never answer and this is the reason why I think that most of those profiles are fake profiles which are properly generated by some kind of AI to keep you hooked but don't worry the more you use the app the higher the chances are probably that you will find someone who is interested in you and well done Congratulations. You have like your first match and of course you have to get into interaction with this person by sending a message. So every time you send or every time you receive this message, all of those messages have to be saved somewhere and that is the reason why we need the third component of the information systems which is database and data warehouses. And this is actually a really good advice for you if you want to increase your chances while using tinder my advice would be that you exchange as soon as possible your mobile phone number at that moment where you exchange your mobile number you will use someday let's say you make some kind of a date you will call this person and that is the reason why you would probably use the so-called telecommunication which is also of course a part of the information systems and at the end if you have a match with somebody with a real person and hopefully not with some kind of a fancy AI this person will make the decision if you are interesting enough that this person is spending his or her time with you and that is the reason why we need at the fifth component the so-called human resources and procedures hopefully this tinder example gives you the great opportunity to never forget what the five components of information systems are. Yeah, so at the end, I just want to say good luck with Tinder.